What's going on, everyone? Uh, I'm going to play some Batman Origins today online. Um, let's play some Batman Arkham Origins online. There you go. It says online. All right, let's go. Pairing. I haven't played this this online forever. I just got it for PC, so I figured maybe the servers will still be online for it. Um, I figured for maybe for the systems, not so much because systems are different. Now what? We'll just use the mouse and keyboard for this. Nvidia. Connection to Batman Origin Line service cannot be established. The game cannot start. Oh well, let's try again. And I don't have to touch you. Okay. Error three. What the hell is going on? Come on. Um, that's all for it, I guess. Hmm. What is going on? Let's check out this the discussion. Are you kidding me? It just closed a long time ago. Oh my god. Come on. Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I know this is not my normal type of video. I know that was kind of a little bit cringy in the video beginning, but I just wanted to show you kind of how my reaction was to finding out that the servers were down for that game. Um, I have a pile of games here that I pulled from my collection of games that I played or I liked. Um, I'm not sure if all the servers are down for them. But there's some games that I'm like, oh, I like playing the multiplayer or I would play that multiplayer again just to try it out. Um, and then talked about how I think they could fix these issues or even my thoughts about it. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, I think this is peer to peer, but I'm not sure. Uh, but Dead Island. My friends don't come over and play. So, hey, I can play online with someone. This one is really old. I know the BSU servers are down. But, wouldn't it be cool if I could go back and play this? I never got to experience this, and I would I'd love to go back and be able just to try it out, see how it was, if it was good. But I never got to. Well, Alton Alliance, Marvel. Now, I only played by myself, but I do see you can play with more people. Uh, I would love to see how it is with playing with other people. I don't know if you can. Now we're going back to old school again. Marvel Nemesis. I actually like this fighting game. And it had a decent story. Um, never got to play online though. Because back that days I didn't have internet like that. But. Can't play it online. Battlefield Bad Company 2. I played Battlefield 3 first. Well actually I played Battlefield 1942. Which I believe the servers are down for that. And Battlefield 3, I'm not sure if the servers are still up. I think for PC it might be, not sure. But I know this server is down. You cannot play this one anymore. And I came in too late to play it, and I didn't get to play it. Never got to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually platinum that one. Similarity. I actually liked the multiplayer for this. Uh, I was trying to get all the trophies for it. Didn't get to, not enough people playing it. And I'm not sure if the servers are still there. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Decent multiplayer. My brother actually played in this game. I tried, I was trying to, but just didn't have enough time to. But the multiplayer was fun. I played it not that long ago on PlayStation Now just to see if there was still a community. It was still a community, still people playing it. And I don't know if the servers went down ever since then. No, but if the servers go down, no game. That game's nothing. You can't play it. When I started with, I had it for PS4. Yeah, I play it online. Yeah, there's a single player, but some people want to play online. Metal Honor Warfighters. 
Now, I played the first Ball of Honor, I planned it. This one I wanted to play, got it, and didn't get to play it too often online. Um, servers are probably down for it. Bulletstorm, never played online, but it looks like it could be fun. Story mode was good, but maybe the servers are down. Halo, now the Halos are a different story. Servers, I think Microsoft keeps servers for Halo because they're just, they're, their multiplayers are always boosting. Now I can't say they'll stay there forever, though. Once the servers go down, can you play them anymore then? And my most favorite multiplayer game, I played so many hours of Metal Gear Solid 4 online. I love the heck out of this game and the servers are down. I did not enjoy the new Metal Gear Solid Online. It was too fast paced. This I liked a little more of a sneaking and it just was so good. I had so much fun with this one. I wish I could go back and play this. So how would the fits this pile of games where people could actually go back and play them? Simple answer is put an update in where it doesn't connect to the server anymore. It connects to peer-to-peer. -peer. Now, I can't say they can do it for all the games. Maybe it won't work. I don't know. But most of the games, they could do the peer-to-peer, uh, like, where, like, I make a lobby and everyone runs off my internet. As long as you have good internet, especially nowadays, back then, internet wasn't that great. It gets, only gets better over time. So, yeah. If they could peer-to-peer -peer in most games, they get, their online can live forever and it doesn't cost them a penny. It says consumer happy and it keeps the game company where they might actually be able to sell. Let's go in here real quick. Let me actually take off my webcam. We're going to pull up my uh, display. Um, where's my Steam? All right, let's go back to the Batman um, Origins. Let's go to the DLC. They're still selling DLC for it. They're still going to get money from it. But, you can't run the online though, but you, you still want to sell this stuff. Um, yeah, that don't make sense to me. But, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. But, I don't want to ramble on guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts down below. Are there any games you miss playing online? Is there any games that you wish the online would come back on or you could play again? Or is there any games that you think is really old and they still have servers for it? Just let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are or any of that kind of info. Uh, make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy the video and make sure you kick the shit out of that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I will never miss my chance to do now. Attention viewer, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe.